Hey guys, Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation here with the PSN Spotlight on the Tri-Cities Bulldogs football team as we continue our previews of fall sports, getting you ready for the 2024 Georgia High School Association season and got a chance to catch up with head coach Rodney Hackney heading into his second year leading the Bulldogs. Coach Hackney, very well known for turning programs around and here in year two, he reflected on year one and what he think went well as they get ready for 2024. All right, coach, year number two. Uh, let's go back to year number one for you here at Tri Cities. Right. Uh, when you got a chance to kind of, you know, let the dust settle, mm -hmm. kind of reflect over things as you guys kind of got through spring and, you know, took the little, the first break there before you got into summer. Mm -hmm. You know, what were some of the things that you uh, were able to walk away with, kind of in a sense, and say, you know what, season may not have gone the way we wanted, but here are the positives that I really like that I know that we can kind of use moving forward. Well, I think one of the main things is our, our kids kind of bought in. Mm -hmm. um, Talent-wise, we knew we weren't where we need to be, mm -hmm. but we had several kids. We already lost four seniors that shot that group. So we knew we had everybody coming back. Mm -hmm. and we were just hoping to build off that. And then uh, the kids' work habit, you know, despite the losses, we went two and eight. Despite the losses, the kids pretty much fought mm -hmm. the whole year. So we were excited about that part coming back for us. All right. Now here you are getting ready for the start of the new season. Right. Um, what's impressed you the most this summer, um, you know, as you've kind of observed you guys? I think the togetherness. I think I think just watching the guys clean more together. It started off in the offseason. Um, they worked really hard. Numbers were still low, mm -hmm. but the guys that were consistently coming, we had a consistent, I don't know, 25, 30 that consistently came. Mm -hmm. uh, that core group is now kind of taking over in the summer, and they're kind of maintaining that. So what we have established it's a middle toughness, and we've established some endurance. So that's the two things that I think we need. Uh, with our numbers being low sometimes, we have to play a lot of guys both ways. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say, I was going to ask you about that mental toughness. I heard you talking about it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just when you were talking with the guys earlier. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, how important has that kind of been for you and your staff to kind of um, hammer home for the guys when it comes to that? I mean, I've, I've been doing this since my 28th year. And, mm -hmm. and mental toughness, if you watch a coach having these team, usually – is our strong point. Um, I'm not saying all the time. There has been some teams that we haven't, but that's usually what we focus on. We focus on how can we get past, how can we push our kids to the, to the level of brain and then push them a little farther because I feel like that's what happens in the football game. Mm -hmm. So you go on through that process and you want to continue to push the kids. And it's hard sometimes because we've gotten in an age where you can't push too hard mm -hmm. um, because it's kind of borderline with, with, with now today how society looks at things mm -hmm. and thinks that's a little bit overboard. But for football, you kind of have to, to do that. You have to push those kids. That way. Otherwise, you can never simulate it in the game situation. Mm -hmm. So that's what we constantly do. We constantly talk about it. And it's the thing I think most – uh, most coaches should talk about. Uh, I think a lot of times we get so caught up in X's and O's and schemes and other things, but mental toughness is usually why a team wins a losing football game. All right. I noticed that um, some of the guys today, you talked mm -hmm. about, you know, not really, uh, you know, not graduating a lot of upperclassmen, so bringing mm -hmm. a lot of guys back. Right. And I noticed out there when you guys were going through some of your drills and things, uh, there's some leadership there. Yeah. How big has that been for you and the staff when it comes down to getting the guys uh, on that same page with you guys? Well, we got 14 seniors, and that's a lot. Uh, most time, if you had that many seniors, usually you win football games. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're counting on. This is a, a definitely a money year for us. We've got to try to build on this. And then at the same time, we got to make sure our young guys are falling through. So uh, as you see, a couple of our guys that we're taking a media day, uh, it's two seniors and then two sophomores. So um, and what that's going to do is, is build that leadership that we already have and then try to put that pressure on those young guys that they got to come through and have a good season, I mean, uh, year as well, so that that carries over. So we're not completely starting over. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Um, like you said, you've been doing this a long time. Yeah, man. Um, and obviously, I think, you know, the one thing that I know you know is you can never be too old to, to learn. What right. would you say um, Coach Hack has learned uh, after year one uh, here at Tri-City? Patience. Mm. Patience is, is virtue, man. <laughs> if you're going to stay in this game, patience is virtue and, and consistency. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think if you, you've been covering me for a long time mm -hmm. and, and you see the same, you've seen my other teams that I've coached, and it's going to be the same thing. I want to stay consistent. I want to stay even killed. I mm -hmm. preach those things. Uh, I even this year, I fired myself as offense coordinator. <laughs> uh, I hired offense coach Kerry Cooper. Uh, that I actually coached uh, before, so wow. he's going to be my offense coordinator. I'm excited about that. That kind of lets me kind of bridge way between offense mm -hmm. and defense. I was strictly pretty much stuck with offense. 
Uh, this gives me a little bit more well-rounded. So just, just, just to also, like I said, not be scared to fire yourself. You know what I mean? And understand that I can help the whole team better by being able to do that. So that was one thing I learned. So not be scared to scare yourself. Be consistent and just, you know, keep, keep going and learning every day because you learn from anybody. You learn from every kid is different. Right. Which is so hard about coaching football. I mean, you think about this, you know, the average team has about 60 players. That's mm -hmm. 60 different personalities right. that you learn from. Every kid doesn't react the same way. Every kid is not a get in your face type kid. Right. Every kid is not a kid you can push to the brink. Some kids you have to baby along. Some kids need more. Mm -hmm. uh, they want you to to push them because they want to be great. So you have to figure out what kid has that. So as, as I've been coaching long, I just all the players I've coached, and somebody said you should have a reunion. And mm -hmm. I said, I don't even know. I don't even know when we have a room big enough for all the players <laughs> I've coached over. You know, you're talking about I started, I became a head coach in 2001. So that's right. a lot of kids. You're talking about 23 years as a head coach and then another five as an assistant. So it's a long time. A lot of guys that still reach out to me and, uh, you know, come in and say, Coach, I appreciate what you did. Mm -hmm. And good to see them have families now, yeah. that type of thing. It's always, it's always good. So those are rewards that I really look forward to uh, when I retire. Yeah, we got, we might have to put that reunion together. Yeah, man, that would be know, good. Be it, good. I would love to see how many because I, you know, I forget. Man, I go to the next team. I just kind of yeah. I remember them, and right, it's so funny right. now I see them out. They look older than me, and I'm like, y'all like got four kids, <laughs> like you know, they look old, man. But 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 it's good to see that, and and it's amazing that everybody remembers their football coach. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, it's the same thing with me. I remember my high school football coach as well. Mm -hmm. You know, because those guys play such an important part in your life mm -hmm. and, and challenge you. And then when our guys get into the real world, they see that. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the main thing for me. Our, my high school and college coach both challenged me on the field, but also off the field to be a good man. So that's the thing that I try to challenge our guys with. Because you don't really have that. You know, mm -hmm. you have – what we have right now, you, you have rappers leading our leading yeah. our kids. You know yeah. what I mean. So you don't have a lot of people that are leading them. But football coaches are still still needed and still used, and mm -hmm. and they still listen to us. So yeah. that's a big thing. Yeah. All right, last one before I let you go, Coach. Mm -hmm. um, I got to come to. I think it was the homecoming game. Okay. Um, awesome community support. Obviously, yeah. you know, homecomings. A lot of people like to come back, but I really that was the first thing that stood, jumped out to me. I was like, wow, yeah. look at this. You know. Um, how did that make you know you feel? How did you kind of notice what it did to some of the players? Obviously, like you said, you got so many coming back, but you know, knowing that the community was there to support them, regardless of what you know, what mm -hmm. records say, yeah. community was there. How uh, impactful was that for well, you? Well, Tracy loved their homecomings. Now. They don't know <laughs> they're going to show up a homecoming, uh, we, and we got to try to win it too. That's mm -hmm. that's that's really huge on my list of things that we're trying to do this year. Uh, the change, but yeah, I knew that. I knew that going in. Of course, you know, I, I'm from the you know southwest mm -hmm. side of, of Atlanta in this East Point area. It still kind of connects, you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. I knew about uh, Tri Cities a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenny Mill, the, the, the former head coach that was here so for such a long time, uh, I knew him. I was friends with him, and we actually going to play them this year. Uh, he's at Arabian Mountain, mm -hmm. so that's going to be an interesting game when we do play. But yeah, homecoming and support, man, is is just top of a none. Um, it always reminds you a little bit of Black College, a little right. bit, uh, how they come out and support. It's, I think it's one, from what I heard, it's one of the biggest alumni uh, in the state. So uh, it's, it's really huge. And they're, and they're very open. And they're very vocal. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been very supportive thus far. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, they're, they're a little bit more supportive of basketball right now, which I understand. <laughs> but but my goal is, 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 to, is for them to be patient and them know that, hey, you know, we're going to try to get this thing turned around, give you something to be proud about as far as football goes as well. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Coach, thank you for taking a couple of minutes. Let hey, me come no out. No I know the weather, uh, you know, yeah, know. You got, but hey, you got to still put in some yeah, work, Yeah, we got man. some work in, man. <laughs> we got some work in. Despite, we're going to figure it out. But, uh, yeah, the weather kept us down. You have to come back another time when it's sunny. We get out there on that other hill. That's way huge. We found a hill to go straight up. So, you know, we found some ways to try well, to get I, I appreciate be, you, man. No, and I'll definitely be back. Thank you for always uh, welcoming yeah. me with open arms. So no I really problem. appreciate it, Coach. No problem, man. All right, thanks to Coach Hackney and the Tri-Cities Bulldogs for allowing me to stop by and being a part of this PSN Spotlight and looking forward to seeing them in action when the 2024 season gets underway in just a couple of weeks. For these stories and more, make sure you check us out at PrepSportsNation.net. And don't forget to check out our YouTube highlight channel, Prep Sports Nation. I'm Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation.